The Promised Prophet of the Bible Part 6 Were the children of Israel exclusively the chosen? The Bible talks with clear contradiction about salvation. According to John, Jesus, peace be upon him, told the Samaritan woman in his talk about the Messiah, for salvation is from the Jews. John, 4.22 However, this issue has been refuted by many other biblical texts, which throw suspicion as to whether or not this statement was actually uttered by Jesus, especially that it is clear it was inserted into the text. It is important to mention, at this point, the Holy Bible's texts that indicate the possibility of transferring the prophethood from the children of Israel to another nation like the Arabs. God had sent many prophets to the children of Israel, and they denied and killed them. Let us ponder upon what the prophets said about this rebellious nation, to see if they were worthy of keeping the blessing. Moses said about them, for they are a nation void of counsel, and there is no understanding in them. Deuteronomy, 32:28. He said, They are a crooked and twisted generation. Do you thus repay the Lord, you foolish and senseless people? Deuteronomy, 32 5-6. The prophet Elijah said, He said, I have been very jealous for the Lord, the God of hosts. For the people of Israel have forsaken your covenant, thrown down your altars, and killed your prophets with the sword, and I, even I only, am left, and they seek my life, to take it away. 1 Kings 1910 God's description of them in the prophet Ezekiel's book is the same, and he said to me, Son of man, I send you to the people of Israel, to nations of rebels, who have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me to this very day. The descendants also are impudent and stubborn. I send you to them, and you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God, whether they hear or refuse to hear, for they are a rebellious house, they will know that a prophet has been among them. And you, son of man, be not afraid of them, nor be afraid of their words, though briars and thorns are with you and you sit on scorpions. Be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, for they are a rebellious house. And you shall speak my words to them, whether they hear or refuse to hear, for they are a rebellious house. Ezekiel, 2 3 to 8. Similarly, the prophet Isaiah said, Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord hath spoken, Children have I reared and brought up, but they have rebelled against me. The ox knows its owner, and the donkey his master's crib, but Israel does not know, my people do not understand. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, offspring of evil doers, children who deal corruptly, they have forsaken the Lord, they have despised the Holy One of Israel. They are utterly estranged. Why will you still be struck down? Why will you continue to rebel? The whole head is sick, and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot even to the head, there is no soundness in it, but bruises and sores and raw wounds, they are not pressed out or bound up or softened with oil. Isaiah, 1 1 6. God's anger with them continued, until he lifted the blessing from them, and exchanged it with his curses and revenge. And now, O priests, this command is for you. If you will not listen, if you will not take it to heart to give honor to my name, says the Lord of hosts, then I will send a curse upon you and I, I will curse your blessings. Indeed, I have already cursed them, because you do not lay it to heart. Behold, I will rebuke your offspring, and spread dung on your faces, the dung of your offspring, and you shall be taken away with it. Malachi, 2 1-3 When Jesus, peace be upon him, came he called Jerusalem, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets, Matthew. 2337, because of the number of God's honorable prophets whom they had killed on its soil. Jesus, peace be upon him, said, while addressing the crowds, But woe to you, scribes and Pharisees! Hypocrites! Woe to you, ye blind guides! You blind fools! You serpents! You brood of vipers! How are you to escape being sentenced to hell? Therefore I send you prophets and wise men and scribes, some of whom you will kill and crucify, and some you will flog in your synagogues, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem! The city that kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to you. Matthew, 23 13-37 For that, God deprived them from being the nation who the next promised prophet will come from, because they broke the promise and covenant of God. The next prophet will not be from the offspring of David, peace be upon him, meaning that he will not be Jesus. The main reason that the Jews hated Jesus, peace be upon him, was that he confronted them with the truth. He told them that God's kingdom and his choice will be taken away from them, and given to another nation. In order to prove that, we have to go back to the first time they tried to kill him.
that is when he told them about the prophet Elijah, leaving the children of Israel's widows for a sign and widow. And that the prophet Joshua cleansed Neman the Assyrian without cleansing the rest of the lepers that were among the children of Israel. See Luke, 4 25-27. The result was that when they heard these things, all in the synagogue were filled with wrath. And they rose up and drove him out of the town and brought him to the brow of the hill on which their town was built, so that they could throw him down the cliff. Luke 4 28-29, and that was the beginning of the hate between the Jews and Jesus, peace be upon him. Now I ask the respected reader, did the nation that was threatened by prophets deserve that the blessing and prophethood remain with it? If the answer is no then which nation is the selected and chosen one? Who else could be, except the nation that was promised the blessing many times, from the offspring of Ishmael, peace be upon him. None of the nations claimed to be this chosen nation. The Description of the New Kingdom's Nation When the children of Israel had altered and changed, God took away the prophethood and the message from them and gave it to another nation. What the prophets warned the children of Israel had happened, and that is transferring the goodness to another nation. Who is the new nation, and what are their descriptions? To answer this important question we will ponder on the scriptures of the Holy Bible. Isaiah said, quoting the Revelation, I was ready to be sought by those who did not ask for me, I was ready to be found by those who did not seek me. I said, Her am I, here am I, to a nation that was not called by my name. I spread out my hands all the day to a rebellious people, who walk in a way that was not good, following their own devices. A people who provoke me to my face continually, Isaiah, 65 1-3. The text mentioned transferring the prophet in the command from the cruel disobedient nation to a nation that had not asked God before, and did not possess the name of God. It is the illiterate nation, to whom no book was ever revealed. Ezekiel confirms the withdrawal of kingdom and statute from the children of Israel, giving it to a low and neglected nation. Saying, And all the trees of the field shall know that I the Lord, I bring the high tree, and make high the low tree, dry up the green tree, and make the dry tree flourish. I am the Lord, I have spoken, and I will do it. Ezekiel, 17:24. John the Baptist said, as he was warning the children of Israel of the following anger that God will instigate upon them, even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Every tree therefore that does not bear good fruit is cut down, and thrown into the fire. I baptized you with water for repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire, Matthew, 3 10 to 11, check the example about the fig tree that is not fruitful in Luke, 13 6 to 9. Jesus was the last chance of keeping the choice in selection, he said that any tree, which does not bring forth good fruit, will be hewn down, and when the Jews denied him and tried to kill him, the green tree was cut and dried. It was thrown into the flame, the flame of God's anger and misguidance, and another tree bloomed. Indeed, God dried the children of Israel's tree and burned it, sprouted another tree that was dry and never had prophets from the offspring of Ishmael, peace be upon him. It is the nation that, God instigated upon the children of Israel. Those who are well acquainted and have examined the life of Muhammad, peace be upon him, have complete knowledge of this issue, and how he dealt with the Jewish sects. Bain Nadir, Bain Kayanoka and Bain Quarido were Jewish tribes who were cast out of the Arab Peninsula by Muslims. The prophet Ezekiel also said, And you, O profane wicked one, prince of Israel, whose day has come, the time of your final punishment. Thus says the Lord God, Remove the turban, and take off the crown. Things shall not remain as they are. Exalt that which is low, and bring low that which is exalted. A ruin, ruin, ruin I will make it. This also shall not be, until he comes, the one to whom judgment belongs, and I will give it to him. Ezekiel, 21 25-27 When the ruler comes, the final prophet, everything will be reversed and the turban will be lifted, meaning that the statute will be taken away from the children of Israel. The turban was a symbol for the Aronian priests who were in charge of the statute affairs for the children of Israel's tribes. They were given special uniforms, and the turban was one of them. See Exodus, 28 36-37, the throne was also lifted, the kingdom. The despicable nation becomes the chosen, and the chosen nation becomes despicable, as David said, this stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, it is marvelous in our eyes. Psalms, 118 22-23, however, it is true. Jesus, peace be upon him, 
gave an example to the disciples, he said, Have you ever read in the scriptures, the stone that the builders rejected has become cornerstone? This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people producing bringing its fruits. Matthew, 21 42-43 Jesus told his disciples after he gave them one of the kingdom's examples, same as the crops. Take then how you hear, for Theon who has, more will be given, and from the one who has not, even what he thinks that he has will be taken away, Luke, 8 18. The scriptures mention the first description of the nation of the kingdom that is a despicable and humiliated nation that never worshipped God and his statutes were not sent to them. A nation, which the children of Israel wondered how the leadership and selection could be transferred to them. God mentions another description of the new nation. The nation that will inherit the blessing and the profited from the children of Israel, the Lord saw it and spurned them, because of the provocation of his sons and his daughters. And he said, I will hide my face from them, I will see what their end will be, for they are a perverse generation, children in whom is no faithfulness. They have made me jealous with what is no good, they have provoked me to anger with their idols. So I will make them jealous with those who are no people. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. Deuteronomy 32 19-21, the chosen nation, the nation that is despised, is an illiterate and ignorant nation which God used to tease the children of Israel. God said about Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his honorable companions, that he may enrage the disbelievers with them. al 29. The children of Israel had conspired on this new nation, they said, we tease them with a stupid nation even though stupidity cannot be used to describe nations. Even if they are labeled illiterate and cruel. Who is this illiterate or stupid nation, which God will use to revenge the children of Israel? They are the Arab nation, he it is who sent among the unlettered ones a messenger, Muhammad, from among themselves, reciting to them his verses. Purifying them, from the filth of disbelief and polytheism, and teaching them the book this Quran, Islamic laws and Islamic jurisprudence, and al-Hikmah, as sunnah legal ways, orders, acts of worship, etc. of Prophet Muhammad. And verily, they had been before in Manfest terror, al-Jamoa, too. He is the one who sent amongst the Arabs, who could neither read nor write, a messenger from their own kind, reciting to them his verses, which he revealed to him. Purifying them from disbelief and bad morals, teaching them the Quran and teaching them the sunnah. Prior to his being sent to them they were clearly misguided from the truth, as they used to worship idols, spill blood and sever family ties. al Jamu apostrophe a colon 2. Paul made a mistake by saying that the stupid nation is the Greek nation. He says confirming the transfer of kingdom from the children of Israel and mistakenly failing to appoint the nation that will inherit the kingdom, for there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord for all, bestowing his riches on all who call on him. But I ask, did Israel not understand? First Moses says, I will make you jealous of those who are not a nation, with a foolish nation I will make you angry. Then Isaiah is so bold as to say, I have been found by those who did not seek me, I have shown myself to those who did not ask for me. But of Israel he says, all day long I have held out my hands to a disobedient and contrary people. Romans, 10:12 to 21 he believed that the kingdom would be transferred from the children of Israel, but he assumed that the new nation is the Greek nation to whom he went to preach. The Greeks believed in him as many others, so there was no point to their exclusivity of him. What he meant by the kingdom is the response to his invitation, and it is incompatible to what was meant by the great kingdom nation. The Greek nation cannot be the stupid nation that will inherit the kingdom, because the Greeks were civilized and scientific nation. Paul himself affirms that when he said, For Jews demand science, and Greeks seek wisdom, Corinthians 1, 1 how can the wisdom seekers be described as stupid or ignorant? Certainly, the new nation is the Arab nation, which was promised the blessing out of all the nations. Isaiah, predicting the prophet who will come out of it, mentioned that this prophet will run away from his people, and then he will conquer them. And make their glory disappears then a new glory will start. He is the prophet into whose hands the Persian Babylonian state will fall, and their carved gods will break at his feet, he said. For thus the Lord said to me, Go, said a watchman, let him announce what he sees. When he sees riders, horsemen in pairs, riders on donkeys, riders on camels, let him listen diligently, very diligently. Then he who saw cried out. Upon a watchtower I stand, O Lord, continually by day, at my post I am stationed whole nights. And, behold, here come riders, 
horsemen in pairs. And he answered, Fallen, fallen is Babylon, and all the carved images of her gods he has shattered to the ground. O oh my threshed, and winnowed one, would I have heard from the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I announce to you. The oracle concerning Duma. One is calling to me from Seir, Watchman, what time of the night? Watchman, what time of the night? The watchman says, Morning comes, and also the night. If you will inquire, inquire, come back again. The oracle concerning Arabia. In the thickest in Arabia you will lodge, O caravans of Dadanids. To the thirsty bring water, meet the fugitive with bread, O inhabitants of the land of Tama. For they have fled from the swords, from the drawn sword, from the bent bow, and from the press of battle. For thus the Lord said to me, Within a year, according to the years of a hired worker, and all the glory of Kadar come to an end, Isaiah, 21 6 16. The following text talks about the Dadanids who were among the people of Tema. It asks them to protect the fugitives who fled to their rough land, and gives them good news of the vanishing glory of the children of Kedar son of Ishmael after a short while. The Dadanids as mentioned by the Holy Bible's Dictionary are residents of Tema north of al as the Holy Bible's Dictionary, 370, and it is a rough land. The text prophesizes the Muslims' victory over the children of Qadar year or eight years later in the Battle of Bader or the victory of Makadat Qadar was the second son of Ishmael. Genesis 25:13. The name Qadar is also used to name the countries in which Qadar's offspring are its majority, he said, concerning Qadar and the kingdoms of Hazor that Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon struck down. Thus says the Lord, Rise up, advance against Qadar, destroy the people of the east. Jeremiah. 4928, and that is what was meant by saying all Qadar's glory will vanish, he is giving the good news of the Muslims' victory over the land of Qadar's children. Isaiah said describing this nation, who stirred up one from the east whom victory meets at every step. He gives up nations before him, so that he tramples kings underfoot, he makes them like dust with his sword, like driven stubble with his bow. He pursues them, and passed safely, by paths his feet have not trod. Who has performed and done this, calling the generations from the beginning? I, the Lord, the first, and with the last, I am he. Isaiah 41 2-4 If this passage is a prophecy, then in whom did it come true? Who is empowered by God over the other nations, the one who comes from the east? The land of the east is the Arabs' land as mentioned in Jeremiah concerning Kadar and the kingdoms of Hazor, that Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon struck down. Thus says the Lord, Rise up, advance against Kadar, destroy the people of the east. Jeremiah, 49 28. God punished the children of Israel by the Muslims' hands, after he had punished them by the hands of Nebuchadnezzar. Therefore, as the tongue of fire devours the stubble, and as dry grass sinks down in the flame, so their root will be as rottenness, and their blossom go up like dust. For they have rejected the law of the Lord of hosts, and have despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. Therefore, the anger of the Lord was kindled against his people, and he stretched out his hand against them and struck them, and the mountains quaked. And their corpses were as refuse in the midst of the streets. For all this his anger has not turned away, and his hand is stretched out still. Isaiah, 5 25 the text continues to tell about another punishment that will come by the hands of a nation, a powerful nation, and will be different from the first punishment. He will raise a single for nations afar off, and whistle for them from the ends of the earth, and behold, quickly, speedily they come. None is weary, none stumbles, none slumbers or sleeps, not a waistband is loose, not a sandal strap broken, their arrows are sharp. All their bows bent, their horses hoofs seem like flint, and their wheels like a whirlwind. Their roaring is like a lion, like young lions, they roar, they growl and seize their prey, they carry it off, and none can rescue. They will growl over it on that day, like the growling of the sea. And if one looks to the land, behold, darkness and distress. And the light is darkened by its clouds. Isaiah 5:26-30. this text tells about the bravery of the companions of Muhammad, peace be upon him, as God said, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. And those who are with him are severe against disbelievers, and merciful among themselves. You see them bowing and falling down prostrate, in prayer, seeking bounty from Allah and, his good pleasure. The mark of them, i.e. of their faith, is on their faces, foreheads, from the traces of, their, prostration, during prayers. This is their description in the Talrit, Torah.
but their description in the Injil, Gospel, is like a, sown, seed which sends forth its shoot, then makes it strong, it then becomes thick, and it stands straight on its stem. Delighting the sowers that he may enrage the disbelievers with them. Allah has promised those among them who believe, i.e. all those who follow Islamic monotheism, the religion of Prophet Muhammad till the day of resurrection, and do righteous good deeds. Forgiveness and a mighty reward, i.e. paradise, Al-Fath, 29. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and his companions are strict against the combatant disbelievers and merciful, affectionate and friendly among themselves. O onlooker! You will see them bowing and prostrating, seeking from Allah that he grace them with forgiveness, a generous reward and that he becomes pleased with them. Their mark is on their faces as a result of prostrating in obedience to Allah. That is how they have been described by the Torah, the book that was revealed to Moses, peace be upon him. As for their mention in the gospel which was revealed to Jesus, it is that they are likened in their assisting one another and perfection like crops that have emerged as small. Then strengthened and stood straight up, pleasing their farmers with their strength and perfection. It is so that the disbelievers are angered by the strength, steadfastness and perfection they see within them. And Allah has promised those of the companions who have faith in Him and do good deeds forgiveness for their sins, they will not be taken to account over them. And a great reward from Himself i.e. Paradise. Al-Fath 29 In another passage, Isaiah talks about the joy, cheerfulness and glory that will take place in the homes of Qadar after the victory of this prophet let the desert and its cities lift up their voice. The villages that Kedar inhabits, let the inhabitants of Sela sing for joy, let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord, and declare His praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes out like a mighty man, like a man of war He stirs up His zeal, He cries out, He shouts aloud, He shows Himself mighty against His foes. Isaiah, 42 13 The text talks about the reason for this joy, and that is the appearance of the expected prophet Behold my servant whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him, he will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry aloud, or lift up his voice, or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, and a faintly burning wick he will not quench, he will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be discouraged till he has established justice in the earth. And the coastlands wait for his law. Isaiah, 42 1-4 who is the conqueror that cannot be broken, the one with the statute, who is the one that revealed the truth to all the nations of the earth. He is Muhammad, peace be upon him. The prophet Isaiah threatens the children of Israel who are altering the book of God and are not observing his statute. He threatens them with the prophet who has the sealed scripture. The prophet who does not know how to read, he says, For the Lord has poured out upon you a spirit of deep sleep, and has closed your eyes, the prophets, and covered your heads, the seers. And the vision of all this has become to you like the words of a book that is sealed. When men give it to one who can read, saying, Read this, he says, I cannot, for it is sealed. And when they give the book to one who cannot read, saying, Read this, he says, I cannot read. And the Lord said, Because this people draw near me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, while their hearts are far from me, and their fear of me is commandment taught by men. Therefore, behold, I will again do wonderful things with this people with wonder upon wonder, and the wisdom of their wise men shall perish. And the discernment of their discerning men shall be hidden. Ah, you who hide deep from the Lord your counsel, whose deeds are in the dark, and who say, who sees us, who knows us, you turn things upside down shall the potter be regarded as the clay. That the thing made should say of its maker, he did not make me, or the thing formed say of him who formed it, he has no understanding? Is it not yet a very little while until Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field, and the fruitful field shall be regarded as a forest? In that day the deaf shall hear the words of a book, and out of their gloom and darkness the eyes of the blind shall see. Isaiah, 29 10-18 It is the same meaning that the texts are talking about, a green tree that will fade, and another dry one will become green and will have leaves. And that is when the hand of the illiterate prophet will open the sealed scripture. His saying, and the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying. Read this, pray you, and he said, I am not learned, recorded the great moment when the revelation started coming to Muhammad, peace be upon him. Bukhari saw he narrated that Aisha, Muhammad's wife, said. The truth came to him, while he was in her cave, then the angel came to him and said, Read, he said, I cannot read, then he said, He took me and he hugged me until I was exhausted. 
Then he let me go and said, Read, I said, I cannot read. Then he took me and hugged me the second time until I got exhausted. Then he let me go and said, Read, I said. I cannot read. Then he took me and hugged me for the third time. Then he let me go and said, Read. In the name of your Lord, who has created, all that exists, has created man from a clot, a piece of thick coagulated blood. Read. And your Lord is the most generous. Al Alaq Kohen 1 3. Narrated by Al Bukhari and his Sahih. 4. What Isaiah said about the Jewish nation, Jesus, peace be upon him, confirmed it, when he said to the Jews, He need not honor his father. So for the sake of your tradition you have made void the word of God. You hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you. When he said, This people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching us doctrines the commandments of men. Matthew, 15 6-9. This prophecy of the prophet Isaiah did not come true until the time of Jesus, peace be upon him. Therefore, behold, I will again do wonderful things with this people, with wonder upon wonder. And the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the discernment of their discerning men shall be hidden. Ah, you who hide deep from the Lord your counsel, whose deeds are in the dark, and who say, who sees us? Who knows us? You turn of things upside down shall the potter be regarded as the clay, that the thing made should say of its maker, he did not make me. Or the thing formed say of him who formed it, he has no understanding? Is it not yet a very little while until Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field, and the fruitful field shall be regarded as a forest? In that day the deaf shall hear the words of a book and out of their gloom and darkness the eyes of the blind shall see. Isaiah 29:14-18. He is threatening them by the prophet with the sealed scripture, the prophet that cannot read nor write. Before this, he talks about the literate prophet who cannot read the sealed scripture. Even though the literate prophet is Jesus, peace be upon him. Luke 4:16-18, he will not be able to read the sealed scripture which will be read by the illiterate prophet. And the vision of all this has become to you as the words of a book that is sealed. When men give it to one who can read, saying, Read this, he says, I cannot, for it is sealed. And when they give the book to one who cannot read, saying, Read this, he says, I cannot read, 